Okay. You screw it back here with few screwers. Add some training. This is lesson number eight. Interlude. It's called interlude for reasons I'll allude to later in the training video if we get time. Uh, if we don't, I'll either give the reasons in the next training session or I'll put something up online. Okay, the um, I'll um, just going to grab something off the floor here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, as I say, gear screw back here. With your screws train. Now, you're probably, probably wondering why I'm dressed like this today. There's a very good reason that I'm dressed like this today. No, it's not. So, anyway, I'll tell you, I've got to tell you about these new, add some undershorts, get them on you, and you'll be grinning like an Adsum who's just learned that they've been selected for the Elite Adsum Training Academy conducted by you screwer and serendipity ubiquity called Top Screw. So, I've been selected to uh, spearhead the um, advertising campaign for these undershorts. Yeah, very much in the mould of, um, I know what you're thinking, yeah, very much in the mould of those wonderful ads on telly for the, um, the train spotters undies, you know, um, uh, which of course the centre of that advertising campaign was of course the, the wonderful Nectar Armadillo. I thought the Nectar Armadillo did a great, great job. They were very funny, the train spotters under shorts. Uh, speaking of uh, Armo, the uh, Nectar Armadillo, I thought he did a great job on the divorcee as well. Uh, the probably, um, you know, that tremendous television program, of course, you know, where you have the divorcee living in the divorcee mansion and you've got all those lovely ladies sort of living in the divorcee mansion as well and they're all uh, clamouring and competing for the attentions and the affections of the uh, Nectar Armadillo and, you know, being ready to push one off or uh, another off a cliff, so to speak, to get to him kind of thing. Uh, and anyway, uh, I thought he did a good job, old Armo, but... Uh, yeah, he still copped a bit of flack, didn't he? Copped a bit of flack in me, some media and social media, you know, because in the end he didn't choose one of the ladies from the Dorsey mansion. Oh, uh, you know, you're really sure on that stuff, you know. Um, I thought he did a good job. I could have told the producers and writers of the show that uh, they were getting into sort of troubled water when they whittled the number of ladies down to two and you only had two ladies, you know, getting around the Dorsey mansion, you know, on the high heels, the even frocks, you know, a glass of wine in hand, you know, both um, both very much warming that, you know, they're going to be the um, the partner of the Nectar Armadillo. Yeah, yeah, Armo, he's always been more more partial to a cold six-pack than he has to a um, couple of warm tallies. Anyway, good luck to you, Armo, whatever you do next, and good luck to all the ladies um, who took part in the uh, Divorcee Mansion. So, get back up on these undershorts. Now, there is a history behind them. Now... They were developed and uh, under contract initially for the uh, South African cricket team and as part of that supply contract they were ordered uh, a couple of um, cricket ball tampering devices to be placed in them and um, which they did. That contract was uh, subsequently cancelled and there's a new contract with the same manufacturers to supply cricket shorts to the Australian cricket team in that contract to supply. There was some more uh, more numerous and more uh, heavy duty ball tampering devices supplied as part of that contract. So you've probably seen them all, but we'll go through them just in case and, and, and get them out of the way. Um, with the South African cricket team, of course, you have, you know, bag of, bag of sweets, you know, bag of lollies, uh, mints, a couple of pieces of gum, you know, chewing, you know, getting getting the material from the, the, the sweets on, on, on in the saliva and on the ball, you know, also digging the mints into the seam of the ball, things like that. Uh, nothing new there. And of course also too, they had with the South African cricket team uh, for those long afternoons, you know, on really flat, great batting wickets, the bowlers are really toil, toiling hard. And they had much longer lasting lollies as well, so they can, you know, for those longer afternoons. Uh, anyway, I'll, um, I'll just give that to, uh, over here, the spin doctors. Here, mate, you can, that'll keep you busy for a while. Keep your dentist a lot busier. 
than that a few weeks later. So the, um, just took my train of thought there, but yeah, but uh, that's the uh, sweets. So I was going to say, yeah, uh, anyway, look, learning to, to, to suck and lick well, it will, will hold you in good stead because it's something you learn to be must be learned to be proficient in that to be a successful adson. So um, that's the South African cricket team now. The Australian cricket team, of course, when they were supplied to them, had much, yeah, much more heavy duty ball tampering devices. Of course, you've probably seen them, but we'll just go through. We had the piece of tape, of course, which you could put on the, you know, get some sand on, tape up, put on the ball, sort of thing. Uh, couple of um, pieces of uh, different grades of sandpaper. Um, they're dry sandpaper, but most of them were actually supplied wet and dry sandpaper, which is much better for use in, in conjunction with uh, saliva as well for putting on the ball. Uh, and of course, on those long, you know, hard days on really good batting wickets, uh, the contract for, for the under shorts they asked for something more heavy duty for the uh, Australian fieldsmen and bowlers to use. And of course, what the manufacturers came up with when it was supplied to the Australian crew team, of course, a bit more heavy duty ball tampering was these hand drills. So that was, that was, that was the history behind them. Then here, the, um, the directors here at the School of Underhand Conniving Max, um, in which this uh, classroom training Youth Group's training is, is conducted for the School of Underhand Conniving Max. They saw an opportunity and put, purchased the, the leftover undershorts, um, but actually, you know, asked us for some additional features um, for um, for adsums. So I might point out, look, when you buy the undershorts, of course, or, or are gifted them, then you don't need um, don't need to throw away these things. You can, you can keep them because they, they might be useful. Uh, I can think of ways that they could be useful for uh, for adsums. Uh, the sweets, well, no, no, I'll leave those. Tape, but sandpaper. Does anybody have any ideas what you could use a sandpaper for? Yeah, yeah, old fifty five at the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of sanding down your your boss's house for um, uh, painting, sort of thing. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, you could, but it look. Um, I mean, it is a form of kissing up, but don't take a while. You're better off using a mechanical tool for that sort of stuff. Anybody else? Anybody else? Um, Mr. Maverick's going to grace us. Yes, okay, with his ideas. It's just right. Yeah, yeah. Sandpaper on, sandpaper off. Sandpaper on, sandpaper. Yes, yes. Very good, Mr. Maverick. Um, but what I was thinking of is basically Adsons are very renowned for um, being uh, their, their use of the glue rub, uh, both for uh, kissing up and being kissed up too, you know, the glute scrub. Uh, so you could in fact, especially with the um, finer sandpaper, you know, just put a slight etch on the skin of the glutes and that way the person giving the glute scrub, when the, you know, their hands are sliding over with the oil, with that etch on just gives them a little bit of grip with the fingertips kind of thing, just giving them a bit of that extra stimulation. So that that's, can be useful in the glute scrub. Uh, with the, the hand drill, I wasn't sure what that could do, but I did a bit of research now. Um, a lot of adsums, um, a lot of successful adsums are, uh, are utilising in their adsum, you know, in their adsum career, a, uh, an adult toy which has been nicknamed Blandy Impaler. Now apparently, um, many years ago, uh, hand drills were actually the inspiration, were the forerunner's inspiration of um, those, those sort of adult toils, um, no, one, no one now nicknamed Vlad the Impaler, uh, were also known at various times, I think nicknamed too, the Invader and the Intruder. So yeah, don't throw away the hand drill or, or the sandpaper. So, so what else can I tell you? Uh, okay, what else can I tell you about, the, about these great new as some undershorts? Well, they're very, very robust. They're very robust. Um, as you can see, I, on the way in, I had a significant collision with that fridge behind me, and uh, I, I've come out unscathed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not injured uh, due to the uh, robustness and the safety features, which I'll, some of the safety features which I'll show you of the uh, add some undershorts. But uh, I'll just be careful not to tread on the little dog there. But um, you know, a good pair of undershorts will. Um, 
you know, very much underpin, you know, your, your signature walks, you know, can, can underpin a great signature walk and also supplementary to your signature walks, you know, your signature stances, you know, or, you know, combing your hair, you know, maybe, you know, even answering the phone, uh, you know, uh, you know, leaning back, getting ready for the cock off position kind of thing. Uh, you know, and, and the very oh, I've got lots of um, lots of uh, pocket pocket room in them. Fuck the pockets like that. Uh, very 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 good pocket room. Uh, yes, Mr. Barrett. Yes, Mr. Barrett. Yeah, okay, okay. Yes, he's a little bit of comedy coming in. He's, look, there's nothing new. He said that, he said this a few lessons ago. He said when I'm playing, you know, when I'm flapping the pockets like that, he says I'm. He reckons I'm playing pocket birds. My answer is the same as it was a few lessons ago, Mr. Maverick. He says, when I play pocket billiards, Mr. Maverick, he says, unlike you, unlike you, I play a full-size table, mate. As the same, mate. When I play my pocket billiards, unlike you, I play a full-size table. Which brings me to the pockets anyway. Some extra features of the... Um, add some undershorts, of course, there's the... Um, they're all equipped now with... Um, Aromatic uh, massage oils, whole variety. Um, what's coming in this one? Uh, it's got a couple of here. One's uh, jasmine, one's basil. Uh, they're the, the uh, ja jasmine and basil um, uh, aromatic oils, being very popular for um, glutes rubs with um, uh, some very successful, very successful adsums uh, for sure. Um, a, lot, a lot of them I know sort of. Um, it even goes to the extent of you know having the, 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 the jasmine rubbed on the left glute and the, uh, the basil rubbed on the right sort of thing. So um, yeah, so they do come with those those um, additional um, feature with the the rubbing oils for the uh, glute rubs. But uh, just all around, they're just very robust. Um, you know, you can uh, you can whack them. You know, you, you can um, you can stack them, you know, and you can rack them, you know, you, you know, you can rack them all over. Um, now another safety feature, I'm just, you know, gonna, you know, you can whack them, you can just whack them anywhere. You can. I'll just get ready for a whack. Everybody watching, watch carefully. Just gonna whack, whack in a particular area here. It's like everybody's sniggering except for Kirsten. Just gonna whack. Right. So what I did. That's a um, another feature of the um, add some undershorts is the um, airbag safety airbag deflation pin, which they will come with. They all they, they come with these new add some undershorts. They they come with fitted with safety airbags. Now you did notice on the way in by collision with the uh, the refrigerator, the airbags just dropped out now, and um, the deflated airbag. So that, that automatically triggered the right hand side safety airbag to inflate, uh, giving me protection on that right side. Yes, Father Brown, yeah, yeah, well, no, well, if, if I hit left hand side, they're both fitted with airbags, yeah, the left hand side is deflated at the moment, as you can tell, but, um, yeah, if I hit on the left side, it would have inflated the left hand side as well. Yes, Mr. Maverick, Mr. Maverick, yes. Well, if I hit in the middle, hit in the middle, both airbags would have inflated at the same time, giving me that all-round protection up the front. But good question, good question, Mr. Maverick. Uh, William Shakespeare, William Shakespeare. Yeah, no, no. There's no protection at the uh, the rear, um, the the rear and the gluteal area. Um, uh, maybe the thinking, the thinking of um, that was, you know, but basically they're. Supply for adsums, you know, adsums are, are, are great at cultivating their glutes, you know, getting their glutes rubbed and glutes rubs, um, and, you know, in, in kissing up techniques. Um, and, and, and so, you know, if anybody's got good protection in the gluteal area, it would, it would be adsum sort of thing. But never know, there might be another, a new model of undershorts come out with some protection in the rear. So you never know. So look, um, that's, well, that's all we've got time for. So um, oh, I better better get out of here. Uh, I'll tell you more about why this was called interlude at another time. Uh, I'll leave all, this, leave all this stuff here. Well, you do. I've got a couple of boxes of undershorts out there. 
uh, you can all uh, see what size fits you and yeah, take them home. Yeah, Tiz Fizz, yeah, good. I, Good question, good question from Tiz Fizz. Yes, yes, there is a there is a current uh, recall notice on the ads and undershorts because of a defect, uh, a, a safety defect in the left-hand safety airbag. But it's precautionary only. There's only one in 200,000 of them which had the defect and it was an art to be a be minor defect. But very good question, Tiz Fizz. But uh, I've, I'm, I'm quite confident in and using these and add some undershorts I've got. Uh, you know, if, if, if you're really worried, then you know, send them back. But uh, I'm quite confident that there's there's no. I feel I feel quite safe in the uh, add some undershorts. Anyway, so um, get out of here, you punks. Um, I'll take my comb. Any? Oh, I just dropped that comb on the floor. Yeah, well that um, that just demonstrates actually there is a problem with the, um, the left hand airbag. If I um, just basically went down my knee, it actually inflated without collision and, and then automatically popped. So I'm um, uh, going to leave those undershorts there and we're probably best to send them back to the manufacturer. Okay, get out of here, punk. See ya.